Dave knows I don't like to be in the spotlight. However, he said, unless you come on, I'm not doing, I can't do the Johnny salute. You have to be come on. And I said, Dave, that, that isn't fair. You know, I, I don't want to be the spoiled sport in this. He said, I'm telling you, I'm not gonna, I can't do it if, unless, unless you are the guest. So even though I had told him no, I s slept on it for two nights and realized that I didn't want to be the person that would stop him from doing the salute that Johnny deserved. So I said yes, knowing that it would be 10 days of hell of not sleeping because of my fear of doing this. Uh, he gave me full authority to produce that show uh, and the first thing I did was uh, I wanted Doc Severinsen to be on the show because Doc had done an arrangement of Johnny's favorite song, Here's That Rainy Day Again. Uh, and I wanted Doc to conduct and, and, do, and perform that number on the show. And I said, how many musicians do you need to, to, to do that arrangement? And he said, I think he said 23. And I said, well, we can't afford 23. And he said, it, it's, I need 23, I need strings. So I called Dave and he said, Peter, I told you, whatever it takes, just it's your show to do. So I persuaded Doc to uh, change some gigs that he had that conflicted with that. And so Doc agreed to do that. Uh, and then I wanted to add other guests. Uh, Steve Martin, who, uh, Bob Wright, who was then head of NBC, uh, and Dave said, no, I just want it to be you. And I said, well, I can't do that. And he said, you have to. I'll protect you. I'll make you look good. Don't worry about it. You're safe. And as soon as I walked out, I felt completely safe. Dave gave me the proper introduction that this is a guy who doesn't like to be on camera, this guy is a nervous wreck, you know, and the audience, that's all an audience needs to hear, they're behind you, behind you when they know that you're a wreck. And Dave just handled it perfectly. He made me feel almost comfortable. And, almost. Uh, <laughs> and it was just, uh, and I insisted that he interview Doc for a few minutes. Uh, and I was, I, Dave uh, even sent a private plane <laughs> to, to get me to New York. So I went with Doc and I kept going over stories I wanted to tell and Doc said, why are you doing this? Just be yourself, don't, don't rehearse these stories. And I said, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to tell you, I've got to have something. Uh, and then when, <laughs> when Dave interviewed Doc, uh, Doc, <laughs> Doc stumbled all over the place <laughs> because he didn't even know the name of, of, of Johnny's favorite song. <laughs> so it was very ironic that Doc, who was making fun of me for trying to learn to memorize stories, and he fumbled on the air and I didn't. Uh, but that was a very scary thing for me. <laughs>